Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. We're back out here at the rabbit house and we're making good progress. I've got all of the frames built for the cages. I've got them all wired up. Now we have to install a front support post so that we can hold the cages up and then start attaching stuff, start assembling. All right, so ultimately the plan is to have the rabbit cages sitting right here in between these four posts in the back. Uh, we'll have the lower cage and then the cage above that, and then we'll have that smooth sheet of white uh, fiberboard that's gonna deflect all of the urine and feces out the back so that it can be collected. So for right now, what we've gotta do is we've gotta add this fourth post. We're gonna measure out the distance that we have. So these will support the front edge of the cages. So we'll measure that out. We'll dig that hole down, get it all plumbed up and even with the back posts and then we'll attach it to the roof and we'll fill in the hole and that should make it nice and secure. Make sure that the rabbits have a nice firm foundation uh, to be hanging from for the rest of their measly little lives. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got the upright post for the front of the rabbit hutch. We just used a temporary scab board that we could attach it to. That way it wouldn't go left or right and we could get it nice and plumb. Attached it to the top of the roof and now we're just filling in the bottom of the hole so that it'll stay nice and firm and won't be going anywhere. And then we can just remove that scabber board. Uh, once we do that, we'll go ahead and put up some small blocks so that we can set the actual cages on top of them once we identify the exact right height that we want to set them at. We are making progress, dear. Yeah.
this is where theory meets reality. I was originally planning on having the uh, second hutch or the, the top hutch be sitting at 46 inches above grade and then going just under the roof line. But the hutches themselves ended up being about a half an inch taller. So we don't quite have enough room there. So I'm just gonna drop it down one more inch, have it sitting at 45 inches above grade. And that way we'll have plenty of room to pass the roof and the rafters and it'll all be perfect. Looky there, looky there. Yeah, good. So now we're ready to insert the cages. We'll put the top one in. I figured that'd be easier than put the bottom one in. Okay. Sound like a plan? Huh. All right. So probably the easiest thing to just pull it out in front of here and then you get in the middle and I'll get on the back and then we'll carry it over, kind of lift it up and I'll have to kind of shimmy it in there because it's really, really tight.
a good bunny. What a good bunny. Yeah. See you next time on Hurricane Homestead. <laughs> All right, friends. Well, we definitely made some progress, or at least it looks like we've made some progress today. Um, got the hutches in place. They were a little bit tight, so we had to put them on a diet, trim a little bit off the, the edges. But uh, overall, I think it's gonna look really nice. We're going to put some trim pieces up just to kind of hide these rough edges and around the sides there. And then um, I just threw this door on there. We're actually gonna trim that up and make that look a little bit prettier. And then she's gonna paint it a nice, I think she picked yellow and pink colors for them, uh, for the boys and the girls. So uh, it'll be fun. So we'll get that done, get the bottom poop shoot done put up some fencing, a little gate, and man, we'll be rocking and rolling. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or thought it was entertaining or informative in any way, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Let us know that you liked it. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing and see more of what we have going on here on the homestead. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Good deal.